Today is an exciting day. Two days ago, I bought my first ever hunting rifle. It's the first rifle I've ever owned and bought myself. Um, in prior use, I've just used my dad's rifle for hunting. So for this year, I finally have my own gun, my own rifle, and I couldn't be more any more excited. So I spent the last two nights um, mounting the scope. Um, so this is a whole new process to me. I've never done anything like it before. I've never worked on guns before, so I've spent a whole lot of time researching on how to properly mount a scope and all that good stuff. So the last two nights I was tinkering around and getting that all fixed and set up. And last night I finally uh, got everything dialed to my liking. Now I'm going to break in the barrel of this gun, do some uh, shooting and cleaning of the barrel, get it broken in. I have one box of ammo that I'm going to use for the break-in process and then um, in between shots I'll see where I'm hitting. Get the scope close to a zero, close to zero, that out, out to 100 yards or as long as they're hitting the, the board and during this break-in process I'll be happy. I'm not too concerned about getting it right on the money but we'll see how it goes. Here's the rifle. It's a uh, Kimber Montana in, chambered in a 308, and I mounted a loopholed VX5 3 to 15 by 44 and it is a just a beautiful looking gun beautiful piece of equipment and I can't be more excited to get this thing shot so I'm going to start the process off here with just cleaning the barrel first and then we'll we'll let her rip and send the first shot down range So if you guys have any sort of tips or tricks regarding to gun care, gunsmithing, shooting, anything, I would be more than happy to hear what you guys have to say because, like I said, I'm pretty dang new to all this. So I am really would like to engage with you guys and see what you guys have to say because I am no expert, but... Definitely trying to learn. Well, folks, this will be the first inaugural shot out of the gun. Let's see if my camera won't overheat and I can get it in time. Hundred yards on the money. Let's see how she does. I felt good. I don't think I hit though. <laughs> I think I still missed. Rookie. All right, after many trials and errors of moving the target to 25 to 50, now we're back out to 100. This is my last bullet. And I just shot about a click high and a click left. We're gonna go two clicks, see what happens.
I'll take that. I'll take that. So what I did was the first 10 shots, clean the barrel every one shot. And then for the last 10, I did like the first few every two and then finished off with uh, three, three round groups. So as you can see, my two last shots finally hit paper, dang near close to the bullseye. I mean, it took more shots than I would have liked it to happen, but I mean, that's that's a part of the learning process here. So I'm pretty excited for how it worked out for my first time. So now I know where it's, I'll take note of these, this dial right now where it's at and note that this is where I'll, if anything gets bumped if for the next time I shoot, then I'll put it, make sure it's back on this, start from here at 100 again and get zeroed in at 100. And then once I get zeroed in from there, um, then maybe I'll start playing with different ammunition, see what ammunition she likes best. And then um, once I have what I think is gonna be my go-to ammunition for hunting and all other situations, targets too, then I'll just continue to use that, print out the, the dial chart or the ballistics chart for whatever ammunition I choose to hopefully, um, that way I could just dial in and be on target for wherever I'm shooting. And then I'll probably eventually uh, get says the loophole CDS system I can um, have them send me a custom custom dial with my ballistics for whatever ammunition I decide to shoot so definitely a beginner's process for sure but for me never doing this before I'm pretty happy with the way uh, everything turned out and it should only get better from here so I'm gonna try to document as much of the rifle process as I can so this in this video it was getting the scope mounted in breaking in the barrel kind of getting a zero so next next time I go shoot this I'll get I'll get it really zeroed in and maybe I'll do a video doing that and then from there on out they'll be making appearances in uh, this hunting season and man I'm really excited to maybe she'll help me uh, fill the freezer this this fall so anyways thanks for watching guys if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe if you liked what you watched um, so that way you'll be able to see the, the more adventures that come with using this rifle that I'm really excited to use so thanks again guys